I was eating nonstop all day and that pit or that feeling of hunger never subsided. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dawn and this channel is Dawn Does Keto. This is all about trying to keep me accountable on the ketogenic diet. This week what I'd like to talk about is how sleep or lack thereof can affect or stall your weight loss. There's been different studies out that show the different effects that lack of sleep has on your weight loss. There's been some studies that show that it can slow down your metabolism. Lack of sleep disrupts the hormones that regulate hunger. This is what tells you that you're full and that you need to stop eating. When you're tired, your body has to expend more energy to keep you awake. This this in turn can cause you to feel hunger. You may feel like you need sugary, high carb foods to help keep you going. It can also lower your impulse control. Your body also interprets lack of sleep as stress. So when your body is under stress, it produces more cortisol. This can not only cause you to hold on to weight, but it also causes your brain to crave high fat, high carb foods. The high fat on keto isn't an issue. It's the combination of high fat with the high carb foods that is an issue. So the reason I wanted to discuss the issues that lack of sleep can have on your weight loss is because this week not getting enough sleep was a major issue for me. On the evening of the 4th of July, I only slept about three hours and boy did I feel that. The 4th of July was on a Monday. On Tuesday, guys, I am not kidding you, I could not get enough food. So let me tell you how lack of sleep affected me as far as my struggles and successes for the week. I was craving horrible foods. Now we did have pizza that night. Now that pizza on Tuesday was the only off plan actual food that I had. The other things that I ate were keto, but I could not get enough to eat. I was eating nonstop all day and that pit or that feeling of hunger never subsided. I just kept eating and eating and eating. It was really bad. And I know that it was because my body was interpreting that lack of sleep or that being tired as hunger. Even though I knew it wasn't, mentally I just, I didn't get over it. And all day Tuesday, I ate way more than I should have. Tuesday night, I did get a good night's sleep. Wednesday, Thursday, back on track. Friday, we left to go camping with my sister. We just got home yesterday. We got home last night. And I will tell you that during the course of the weekend, I stayed keto, but I was not intermittent fasting. We were eating at random times late at night, much later than what I usually eat. There were snacks in between, again, all keto, but definitely not my plan. My plan is I intermittent fast. I don't snack during the day. I usually do OMAD, TUMAD, and that was not what we were doing this past weekend. The other thing I did that was off plan was I I had one like slushy drink. My sister bought these slushy drinks for us to drink as we floated down the river and her being her hilarious self actually took time to mark the backs of all of them that they were zero carb. I will put a picture here. So she's like you can have these they're zero carb just so that we could each have a drink you know as we were like floating down the river and I know that these particular drinks being these like fruity slushy drinks are really high in sugar. So um, I did have one of those, but over the course of Friday, Saturday, Sunday, that is the only like non-keto item that I consumed. So it actually wasn't a terrible weekend. Let me know in the comments down below guys, is lack of sleep ever affected you? Has it ever been an issue for you? Has it ever caused you to go off plan or overeat? because you haven't had enough sleep. So this is gonna be a short video this week. Today is my husband's birthday. Happy birthday, Mike. He's off today, so I'm just recording this video very quickly to get this out there for you guys. So real quick, I'm gonna do my weigh-in. I got up this morning and got on the scale and it was 183.2. So that's a gain of 1.6 pounds this 
past week, guys. That's not good. And like I said, I did have that one day where I overate. But other than that, I really didn't feel like I overate this weekend. Now, I am going to go a little TMI, so plug your ears if you don't want to hear this. I don't know about you guys, but when I travel or I'm out of town, I do have bathroom issues. I do not go to the bathroom a lot when I'm not home. I'm not regular. So I, that could have some bearing on it. I don't know if this is a struggle for everybody, but it is definitely a struggle for me. So on that note, one more success that I feel like I had for the week is that I only ate out one time. And if you guys have been around since the beginning of my channel, I don't think that's ever happened. I always eat out more than that. So I was actually shocked that I had as much weight gain as I did considering that I didn't eat out except that one time. So that was kind of a disappointment for me thinking that I hadn't really eaten out and I'd been eating more clean. I'm going to call it a day and I will see you guys next week. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel and helping this channel grow. If you hit that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a new video. And I thank you guys so much for being on this journey with me. It's not perfect, not by any stretch, but I will get there. I will hit my goal. My daughter has uh, is getting married next year, so I really need to uh, hit that goal. Thanks again so much, guys, and I will see you next week. Bye!